Assalamualaikum. Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you the derivatives of trigonometric functions. Okay, so we have uh, six, uh, you know, six trigonometric functions that you have to memorize. Yeah. Alright, so the first one, if you uh, differentiate sine x, so you'll get cos x. Alright, differentiate cos x, you'll get negative sine x. You differentiate tangent x, you get secant square x. Differentiate secant x, you get secant x tangent x. You differentiate cosec x, you get negative cosec x cotangent x. And the last one, you have a uh, differentiation of cotangent x. You'll get negative cosec square x. So these six rules you have to memorize. Okay, so this is not given in exam. You have to memorize. All right. So from these, all right, the the, the question is, it's not that simple that they ask you to find the differentiation of for sine x. No, all right. But they may start with you know kind of all right sine two x. Okay, like say we have a sine two x. Okay, so we know that if we differentiate sine, we'll get cos, yeah, all right? So differentiate sine, we'll get cos, all right? So firstly, you get cos, all right, from the rules. But cos of what? Because it is given 2x, so cos of 2x, you write cos of 2x first. All right, but you don't stop there. Since it is 2x, it is not x, so you have to differentiate this 2x. All right, so differentiate 2x, you will get, all right, so you'll put this in a dot. Right, differentiate two x, so you'll get two. All right, so you can't actually simplify this. You may write it as two cos of two x. That is your final answer. All right, all right. Let's see the next example. Negative three cos four x. All right. So firstly, we have to differentiate cos here. All right. So we'll have negative three cos will become negative sine sine of what sine of four x. So you write four x first. Okay. But is it x? No, it is four x. So you have to differentiate that four x. So differentiate that four x, you'll get four. Okay, something like this. All right. So you have to simplify this one. So you will get you you know you can multiply this negative three with four here. All right. So you get uh, negative and then you have negative here. All right. So positive. So you get twelve. Twelve of sine four x. Okay, something like this. All right. Okay, next one. Tangent of x over 2. So tangent x, if you differentiate tangent x, you'll get secant square x. But now it is tangent x over 2. Alright, so firstly, you differentiate tangent. Differentiate tangent, you'll get secant square. Secant square of what? Secant square of x over 2. So secant square of x over 2. I'll write x over 2 first. Okay? So now, you have to differentiate the one in the bracket, which is x over 2 here. So differentiating x over 2, you will get, alright? You know, differentiate 1 over 2x. x over 2 is 1 over 2x, okay? So, differentiate this, you'll get 1 over 2 only. So, you'll have 1 over 2. So, your final answer can be simplified as 1 over 2 secant square of x over 2. Alright? Something like this. Alright, but why don't we have to do the same thing for like for kind of sine x? Actually, we are doing the same thing. Alright, let's say we want to differentiate sine x. So firstly, differentiate sine, you'll get cos. Alright, so you'll get cos of x. And then you have to differentiate this x. Differentiate x, you'll get 1. So differentiate x, you'll get 1. So 1 multiplied by cos x, you'll get cos x. So this will return to this. Alright, so meaning that if it is x, so you just have to do the differentiation of that uh, angle inside that but if it is not x like on a 2x you'd have to differentiate become 2 if it is 4x it will become 4 it is x over 2 then it will become 1 over 2 all right that's the idea okay let's move to a second second of x square all right this is quite interesting here all right so firstly you have to differentiate second differentiate second so look at the rules so second says that second x tangent x so second x tangent x will write but it is not x here all right so firstly we'll have second second of what second of x square second of x square second x tangent x so second of x square tangent of x square that is the differentiation of second but now we are going to differentiate the x square inside the bracket so differentiating the x square so differentiate x squared will become 2x. Bring down, copy, and minus 1. Alright? So this can be simplified as, you know, you put 2x in front. So 2x second of x squared. x squared can be put in the bracket. Tangent of x squared, you want to put it in the bracket also, okay. Alright? So this is something like this. 
right? Not that difficult. It's just that you know this is actually chain rule. Chain meaning you know you have chain like like this. Uh, you have to differentiate. If you still have a bracket inside it, and uh, you have differentiate, differentiate, differentiate again. But now in this case, you just have two chain here, right? Something like this. Right, differentiate the second and then differentiate the x square. That is what is meant by chain rule. Alright. It's berantai again. Alright. Let's move to the next one, number five. Alright. If you have negative two tangent of two x plus one, alright. So we have to differentiate this one. So firstly differentiating tangent, alright. So write negative two is not affected there. So tangent uh, will become tangent will become second square, right? Second square of what? Of this angle all right so 2x plus 1 but now is it x no it is 2x plus 1 so you have to differentiate that one so differentiating that one will become a right dot that means multi multiplication differentiating 2x will become 2 differentiating 1 will become 0 so you stop with there all right so now you can simplify because you can multiply this negative 2 with together with 2 so you'll get negative 4 so your final answer will be negative 4 second square of 2x plus 1 all right Okay, let's move to the next one, number six. Number six is quite interesting, all right? Many students make mistake where they say like this is sine square x, so they simply write, all right, sine x will become cos x, so cos x square. This is wrong, all right? So firstly, you have to know the properties of the, what do we call this, or the power of the uh, trigonometric function. So when you have sine square x, it means that this is actually sine of x in the bracket square. Square is out. Side. That is what it means by uh, what do we call that sine square of x. All right. So now we have to use the tannic bracket. If you recall my previous video, I have five tannics. The first one is very uh, constant. The second one is variable, and the third one is variable as uh, for bracket tannic. So I'm going to use this one, the bracket tannic, which is a uh, you know kind of chain, chain rule also so firstly we have to differentiate the bracket all right so we have two here so we have to bring down the two in front so it will become two and then you copy everything you have a sign of x and then two minus one all right so now you have sine of x inside the bracket. You have to differentiate that the one inside the bracket. So it will become sine of x will become cos of x. All right. So now you have to simplify this. So when you simplify this, you get 2 sine of x to the power of 1. So it will become sine of x only and then cos of x. So can I write 2 cos of 2 cos x sine x? Yes, you can write it. But you don't write like this, all right? You suddenly write cos x, 2 sin x. This is nonsense. I don't want to see this kind of answer, okay? You put that constant in front of the functions, okay? All right, let's move to the next one. We have this tangent uh, and square root. So, again, uh, this is square root. Square root means it is to the power of half. So, we put tangent of x over 2 to the power of half. That is what it means by square root. So now we have to use the bracket technique. So bring down 1 over 2, it will become 1 over 2. And then you copy everything, it will become tangent of x over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1. Alright? So now you have to differentiate the one in the bracket. So in this case, the one in the bracket is this tangent. All right? I'm going to write one by one. First, we're going to differentiate tangent. Differentiating tangent will have secant square, right? So secant square of what? Secant square of this x over 2. So secant square of x over 2. You're right. Secant square of x over 2. But it is, is it x? No, is it, it is not x, so you have to differentiate that x over 2. So differentiating x over 2 will become half. That what it means by chain rule. You have to, you know, it is uh, the first chain, and sorry, the first chain, and then we have to the second one, and then the third one. It is chain, right, in sequence. Alright, so you have to simplify this one. You can multiply this 1 over 2 with 1 over 2 here, so we'll get... 1 over 4, so that one is tangent of x over 2, alright, to the power of negative 1 over 2, secant square of x over 2, alright, so you can also write this one as, alright, like say I want to put that negative 1 over 2 uh, as a square root, so it will become a secant square of 
x over 2 over 4 square root of tangent of x over 2, right? Uh, be careful, right? Writing for 4 is something like coefficient there. Alright, so that is something like this. Alright, so if you don't know this, you have to go back to your algebra and then you have to figure out how I get this one, alright? Okay, so let's move to number 8. So we have this x cos x squared, right? Many students tend to, you know, differentiating. All right, I'm going to differentiate x, so it will become 1. Differentiating cos, it will become negative uh, sine of x squared. Differentiating x squared will become 2x. So final answer will be 2x, uh, negative 2x sine of x squared. This is wrong, all right? Why is it is wrong, all right? Because you have to figure out, uh, firstly, you have to recognize that this is actually the uv technique where this part is actually u and this part is actually v or we call it as product rule right so this u and v right so to do the dy over dx so you have to use the formula for uv which is uv prime plus vu prime so firstly you have to write what is u u is x what is v v is cos of x squared so differentiating u you'll get 1 differentiating v we'll get v prime we'll get okay firstly differentiating cos we'll get negative sine of x square but now you have to differentiate that x square will become 2x so v prime is negative 2x of sine x square all right so now we're gonna uh, plug this into the formula so we have u v prime so you have to multiply these two uv prime multiply this with this so you'll get something like all right so x multiplied by negative 2x sine of x squared all right plus all right now vu prime so i'm going to multiply this with this so cos of x squared multiplied by one all right all right so now we're going to simplify it has become negative 2x squared sine of x square plus cos of x square all right so you you can leave your answer like this all right so this this is uh the uv product rule when it involves uh, uh trigonometric functions all right let's move to the next one tangent to the above three of two x so again you have to rewrite this as all right tangent of two x put it in a bracket and to the power of 3 outside the bracket so now we're going to differentiate this using the bracket technique where you have to bring down the 3 first so it will become 3 and then you copy everything which is tangent of 2x and then to the power of 3 you have to minus 1 all right now we have to differentiate the one in the bracket all right so differentiating this so firstly you have to differentiate one by one differentiate tangent so differentiating tangent will become tangent second square second square of what second square of 2x so you have to write 2x first all right now we are going to differentiate the one that is inside the inner the innermost bracket so which is 2x so that 2x will be differentiated as 2 all right so we have to simplify this one. 2 can be multiplied by 3 here, alright? So it will become 6. So your final answer will be 6. Tangent of square 2x. Why write square? Because 3 minus 1 will become 2. So tangent square of 2x. And we have a second square of 2x. Alright? You may also write tangent second square of 2x, tangent square of 2x. Okay. What about number 10 here? All right, so so I directly see this, you know, kind of second of 2x, tangent of 2x, and then uh, differentiating 2x will become 2 over 1. Now I'm done. That is wrong. All right. So please be careful when you're dealing with the differentiation of when it involves product rule and quotient rule. All right, so please note that this is actually u and this is actually v. All right. So firstly, you rewrite this as u uh, second of 2x and v is x. So differentiating u will become u prime which is second of 2x will become second, second x tangent x, second 2x tangent 2x. But differentiating 2x will become 2. So your final answer will become 2 second of 2x tangent of 2x. Differentiating v which is x will become 1. 
All right. But now, you have to use the formula for a quotient rule. Where well, the formula is given by VU prime minus UV prime over V square. Right? So you have to plug in the, to the formula. So VU prime. So you take this one. VU prime. So it will become... All right. I directly multiply that one. So it will become 2x. Second of 2x tangent of 2x minus all right minus uv prime uv prime this one multiplied by this one it will get second all right sorry a second of 2x and over v square so over the whole thing which is x square so you cannot simplify anything here so you can't leave your answer like this right all right so let's look at the last one here right so if we have second of a square root x yeah so firstly, you have to write that square root x as to, to x to the power of 2. So I'm writing this as secant of um, x to the power of 1 over 2. All right? So that it is easy for me to differentiate. All right. So now we are going to write dy over dx. So firstly, differentiating ten, uh, secant. So differentiating secant, we get secant x tangent x. But now it is square root x. So what becomes square, secant square root x tangent square root x. All right. But now you still have this part where you have to differentiate that x to the power of 2. Where x to the power of 2, you have to use the uh, variable tannic. So in this case, you have to bring down the 1 over 2 and then you copy and then you have 1 over 2 minus 1. Alright, you have to simplify this one. So it will become secant of square root at x tangent of square root x. Alright, multiply by 1 over 2 x to the power of negative 1 over 2. Please take note that, alright, I'm writing this one by one for you, alright? Tangent of square root x. Alright, now I want to, you know, uh, to remove that negative power there. So I have to put that x over x to the power of 1 over 2 at the denominator. So it will become 2x of 1 over 2. So now I'm going to remove that power of 1 over 2. So it will be converted into square root. So this will become square, secant of square root x, tangent of square root x, multiplied by 1 over 2 square root x. Right? So you can simplify this as secant of square root x, tangent of square root x over 2 of square root x. But please don't cancel this square root x with square root x because this is, all right, because this is the angle, you cannot change anything there unless there is square root x in front here. Only then you can cancel. But if it is not exist in front there, so you cannot cancel, so just leave your answer like this, all right? So this is basically what, uh, what we call this uh, derivatives of trigonometric functions. So what is important here, you have to memorize these six rules, so because it is being used quite a lot later, all right? So thank you for uh, watching this video, so check out my next video for logarithmic and exponential functions. Thank you.